And welcome into our council chambers, Chris. All night long, we'll be able to show you who's been elected, not just as the mayor, but as councillors across British Columbia. And it's so important because in city politics, the mayor is just one vote. And it's important who is around them in terms of councillors. But in order to look forward, we've got to look back, especially at Vancouver, because this is an election of change. Gregor Robertson announced he's not running again. And so many councillors are not running again as well, especially with his party vision, Vancouver. So Raymond Louie and Tim Stevenson announced they were not running again for Vision Vancouver, but that's not it. Going into the election, Vision Vancouver had control of council, but just one of their candidates running again. Those not running again include Andrea Reimer and Kerry Jang. It's not just Vision Vancouver, though, where the big change is happening. The NPA losing Elizabeth Ball and George Affleck. All in all, there are just three people running again uh, for council in Vancouver, including Adrian Carr from the Greens. She's hoping to add some Green colleagues to the council chambers. Four Greens are running tonight for council. Melissa DeGenova is running again for the NPA. And Heather Deal, the sole vision candidate uh, in this one in terms of incumbents. Another place where there will be a lot of change tonight in Surrey. We know that there's going to be a new mayor. That's because Linda Hepner announced she wasn't running again. In this case, there are just four incumbents running again. But what's really interesting about Surrey is what's happened to Surrey first. That's the party that Hepner represents, but there have been some changes there led by Bruce Hain. He decided to abandon the party and run for Integrity Now, a party that he is the mayoral candidate for. Dave Woods is running for re-election. Also important to mention Judy Villeneuve. She's been on council for nearly 30 years. She is not running again. In terms of uh, the Surrey First Group, Tom Gill is their mayoral candidate. He was a city councillor going into this one and Mary Martin is not running again. So all in all, a lot of change tonight. We will see it in Surrey, we will see it in Vancouver, and Chris and Sophie, we will see it across the province. Yeah, really fascinating races. Christine Boyles, the other one in Vancouver, looks to be a city councillor for one city. But it's Surrey that's the big news right now because we know who the next mayor is going to be. It's going to be Doug McCallum. And I want to show you what his council is going to look like because it is a major, major change on Surrey City Council. No incumbents are returning. So let me introduce you to some of these new faces here as part of this team. Uh, Doug Elford... Uh, is a council elect. I think some of these numbers are still coming in because these aren't all the correct councillors. I know that uh, Linda Annis has one. She's the only member of Surrey First who has become a councillor. All of the others are from the Safe Surrey Coalition. So Doug McCallum will be working with a team that he's very familiar and comfortable with. All people he ran with. A number of incumbents have lost as well. So you know we have some mixed results here. These aren't exactly the actual councillors for Surrey, uh, but they are Safe Surrey winners, all of them. The incumbents that have lost, Dave Woods, Vera LaFranc, Mike Starchuk, Barbara Steele. So major changes in Surrey. Let's have a look at Burnaby because the council there, it's a much different story because we have a new mayor in Mayor Mike Hurley. You can see him there, but the councillors all incumbents have won except for one. And it looks like Joe Keithley, the rocker, has won for the Green Party. He's going to be a councillor formerly of DOA, now of Burnaby City Council. We're going to Richard Zussman now to take a look at what Vancouver Council would look like if the election were called right now. Yeah, and these numbers keep changing very quickly, Sophie. So I want to show you what council would look like because as you've been talking about, it is so crucial here having control of council. So will it be the progressives or will it be the NPA that has control? So right now in this situation, Kennedy Stewart is the one that would be the mayor. But just look around the table and it's a real mix between progressives and uh, those from the NPA. And the seat I want to go to is right here at the end. 
David Wong keeps moving in and out of that last spot. With that recent update, David Wong actually would be out of council and in would be Sarah Kirby Young. And Wong has actually fa fallen to 12th place. Uh, and now a about a few, I think it's a 2,000 or a 200 vote gap between him and Sarah Kirby Young. It, it's growing, it's changing, it's evolving. And it's really important just to go around and see who these new councillors are going to be because they are from a wide range of political parties parties here and that's part of the big story here. Uh, Rebecca Bly from the NDP, uh, NPA and so is Colleen Hardwick but Christine Boyle is from a brand new political party, uh, one Vancouver. Melissa Dijanova would be from the NPA and Adrian Carr from the Greens. The big story here, here now, it could be a number of Green councillors, it could be a number of NPA councillors, but if the results hold as they are exactly now, we could potentially have this chaotic situation at Vancouver City Hall where we have uh, Kennedy Stewart, a progressive mayor, with five NPA councillors, uh, so there could be you know, real challenge uh, getting things passed there. So uh, it's going to be this really interesting uh, debate over council where we could have this mix of greens, one city cope with Gene Swanson, and then uh, that mayor's chair is still up in the air. All right, let's check in with Richard Zussman in our results center. Richard. Yeah, important to point out, Sophie, all this renewal, we have two very young mayors, Rob Vagramov, just 28 years old, uh, and Brad West in Coquitlam, or Port Coquitlam, 33 years old. So two young mayors there. One place where we have a not-so-young mayor is in Surrey. Uh, Today, uh, the big news is Doug McCallum's big victory. I think he's 75 years old. Uh, he has been mayor before. And let's take a look at his council because it is controlled heavily by his party, which will obviously mean a big change in the way that Surrey is governed. So you take a look around, and, and there's some fresh faces here, uh, all from the Surrey Safe Coalition. So Doug Alford, a longtime community advocate uh, who global viewers will be very familiar with, considering he's been in a lot of stories over time here, uh, from the work that he's done around crime and violence. Uh, there is just one member uh, from, the, uh, from the old Surrey First Party as part of all of this. So that part of the storyline is really interesting because McCallum is in charge and he is really in charge because uh, Surrey First has been blown out of the water here.